Game one of the conference finals, Trey Young lit the Bucks up for 48 points to go along with 11 assists. He's the first player ever with at least 45 points and 10 assists in a conference finals game. The first player ever. Mike, how should the Bucks try to slow down Trey in game two tonight? Look, they, they, they'll have all kinds of tricks in their bags after all this film study of things they want to do to him. They, the things they want to do to Trey Young. Do you, I like the whole philosophy of changing it up. You, you can't give him a steady diet of anything because he's going to get used to it very quickly, adjust to it, and kill you anyway. Yeah. So they'll figure out what order they want to use those things, randomly, whatever it is. That's not Milwaukee's biggest problem. Milwaukee's biggest problem is Milwaukee. Hmm. They are hard to watch. They do Preach. so many dumb things in not just a series, but a game. <laughs> so they come out, what were they, the other, what were they like, uh, eight for 37 or something, 39? Well, what are they doing shooting that many threes? Right. It reminds me that night that Houston missed 29 in a row. I was at that game. And I remember talking, I remember calling up some Hall of Famers. <laughs> I won't mention any names. And they were like, you better skewer them. Right. At some point, there's a plan B. Right. At some point, there's a, okay, do they know themselves? They have less self-awareness, I said yesterday, <laughs> than my 13-year-old son. They don't know what they don't do well. Stop with the threes. They well, dominate the game they are closer a to the very basket. Good three point but shooting not team, now, but not in the postseason. Rachel, they're shooting 30% for the postseason from three. I know. And obviously, as we talk about oh with this God. team and frankly with mm. Mike Budenholzer teams, the playoffs are different. They're different, all right. <laughs> 30%. Now, you, you know what? When you're dealing with a guy like Trey Young, a guy that's great at drawing fouls and getting to the free throw line, has unlimited range could go by you, has the flow game in the lane. You know, all bets are off with me. As soon as he cross half court, I'm sending two at him. Somebody else has to show me that they're capable of dropping 48 points. Somebody else has to beat us. And not only that, I'm shooting, I'm sending two people at him. And when he gets rid of the ball, I'm having Drew Holiday go full out denial. He can't get the ball back. He can't get the ball back. I watch teams do it to him in the regular season, mm -hmm. I would make that move and do it to him in this postseason. Yeah, and part of it is that you have to be okay with what's going to happen. If you're going to double team him, you're going to give up open shots. The idea is, are they going to knock down those shots for four quarters, right? Because when you're looking at Trey Young, like they don't have a really a secondary playmaker. Mm. They have guys that can make plays, but no secondary playmaker. It is in Trey's hands. He controls the tempo of the game, the pace of the game, and like really he det determines the entire flow. So putting an extra body on him, giving him different looks. One thing that great Popovich used to do a great job of is we would come out of a timeout and he would say, just on this play, we're going to blitz him just on this singular play. And we would go out, we would be in a blitz, and then we, you wouldn't do it again. But the next three plays, the guard would be looking for it. Are they going to blitz? Are they not right. going to blitz? So you're taking away some of that downhill aggression. That's what you're saying switching up. It's not just for steady diets, but it's also like one play here, one play there out of a timeout, having your guys trained to do that. Well, what about Drew Holiday real quickly? Guy. Holiday it's has given guy. him some problems. Yeah. Holiday is long enough, quick enough, strong enough that it is, he has given... Trace Brown, so I love that suggestion about when when he gets rid of the ball, I'm going to have Holiday on him trying to deny him because he's one of the few guys who has the physical tools to do yeah. that. Yeah. All right. And, and look, you got to remember, Trey Young just went through Ben Simmons. Okay, a long athletic he's six cyborg. ten. Yeah, right. And, and, and so he's not afraid of, of Drew Holiday. And I know he's an elite defender, but at this point, if a guy's taught you for a 48-piece spicy, you have to all bets <laughs> off. You got to go double. By the way, Richard, I didn't never think that you would think back on your career and think about your Spurs days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. No. No. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I probably wouldn't publicly say that, but yeah. <laughs> and, yet, and yet here we are. Um, we talked a little bit with these guys about the whole shimmy yesterday. Yeah. I just wanted your yeah. take before you leave us to do your six other jobs. Um, One of the jobs. There's two things I think about that. One, I'm, I'm old. And I think about what the guys I covered. I think about sitting in this room with Irvin Johnson. Well, look at, well, you'll get Giannis's reaction. He yes, was like, he gave it. He, he mimicked us? it. He said, look at what this guy is doing to us out well, there. Well, the guys, the old school guys that I know well, Irvin Johnson, like I said, <laughs> Magic would have, like, fallen out of a chair because there was retribution coming on the very next possession. He would even, Charles Oakley, Charles Barkley. There was a physical toughness that just said that's 
a, that's a, a, a rule. Unwritten rule. You're not shimmying, I'll knock you out. <laughs> they would have knocked him out. An official, a referee might have said, as I saw what happened with Bill Lane Beer, right. when Robert Parrish did knock him out, <laughs> he looked at him, Jess Kersey looked at Bill and said, Bill, get up. This is a different day. I grew up with that basketball. Now, he is such a showman. I love watching this kid. I love it. I didn't think he'd be this good coming out of school. I love watching him and John Collins together particularly. You know what? This kind of reminds me of when I was in Boston and we was playing Cleveland and LeBron and them used to do all those handshakes and mm -hmm. dancing on the sideline. And he told the media, if people don't like it, then do something about it. And that's how Trey Young is. If you don't like it... But what can you do in today's No, game? no, but when because I... Because we sit here and wax poetic about Charles Oakley. Not let Charles him go for Oakley. 40 years. No, 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 but, but just right. in terms of the, quote, retribution, right? Well, there's no more retribution. But that no. doesn't exist anymore. No, 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 and it doesn't exist, by the way, not because guys today aren't tough. It's just, it's been the legislated out. out. Yeah. The league has said you cannot do that. So what what do you no, no, aside but Rachel, from scheming it for a guy shimmies on you? Yeah, what are you supposed to yeah, do? Yeah, but I wasn't saying I, I, I was saying don't let it get to that point. Right. That means put no. some attention on him and lock right. him up. Like Giannis in there, y'all arguing at his teammates, but he was catching some of that heat. He, was. <laughs> he caught some of that 48, too. He should have been mad at himself. Right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And, and, and Trey Young's quote after about the shimmy was very telling. I had a ton, he said, a ton of time. He said, I just had so much time. <laughs> and that right there is the most disrespectful. <laughs> that is. statement is more disrespectful <laughs> than the shimmy. But that is the thing that so NBA Bulls currently will let you do something about if you can do it. He was spinning the ball. I would call a guy off the end of the bench tonight, and I would say something else that did I legislated out. There'll be a little something extra in your paycheck. Yeah. Right. Uh. Knock, I mean, see, I don't mean knock him out, knock him out. I mean, put him uh, on the floor. I was that guy at one point in time for the mm -hmm. Cavs. See? <laughs> see? Jay Crowder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.